Hello everybody, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can hide your IP using Kali Linux. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing that we need to do is we need to install Tor as a service, so that way we can enable proxy chains to run through Tor. And that'll be a very simple process, and the first thing we're going to need to do is we need to type sudo app-get install Tor. And this is a fresh installation of Kali Linux, so nothing has been installed on it aside from the stuff that comes with it. Okay, so now that we have that installed, we're going to clear the screen, and we're going to check the status of Tor. So we'll do that by typing systemctl status tor.service. and we'll see that it's not turned on. So we'll need to turn that on. And there's two ways to do this. I'm gonna show you the new way and then I'll show you the old way. So what we would do is we type systemctl start tor.service. And we need to run that as root. So sudo systemctl start tor.service. And now let's go ahead and check the status. And this is the old way you would do service that's just status tour or service tour status my bad and then that will show you the uh, status of tour or the new way to do it is system ctl status tour.service which is what we tried to do earlier so now that we have that turned on we need to edit the proxy chains command um, so now that we have that turned on we need to edit the proxy chains configuration file to use dynamic chains and also to add SOX5 so that whenever we run Tor we're using SOX5 or SOX4 with the proxy so we can go ahead and do that by typing clearing the screen and then we want to type vim sudo vim slash etsy slash proxy chains four dot com and i'll just turn numbers on and we don't want to use a strict chain. I'm not going to get too much into what a strict chain is, but basically it follows one proxy right after the other, and it can be very easily traced back to you. So we're going to go ahead and edit that out, and then we are going to enable the dynamic chain. And we're going to write that. And now we are going to go to the bottom of the file, and we are going to add SOX5 and we want it to relay through the local host. If you notice it's relaying through the local host and it will use Tor, the service that we just installed to relay our proxy through localhost. So it runs through localhost and then through localhost, it'll run through Tor. So we're going to type SOX5 127.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
Well, that's strange. It's definitely not supposed to be showing that. This is the uh, default web page for a newly installed Nginx web server. And so that could be either coming from us or from dnsleaktest.org. And we'll be able to find that out in a second. But if we look here, we can actually see how it's running through our proxy and then to the uh, Firefox web client. So let's go ahead and go back to Firefox. And let's see about Google. Awesome. So it's showing up in a completely different language. Uh, I really don't know which one is yes, but we'll click that. Uh, okay. And then we're going to just type, what is my IP address? Okay, cool. So now that I've jumped through the hoops with those Google uh, captchas, I can f see what the actual location of my IP address is. I've already put it in. It says my public IP address is this right here. And whenever I scroll down, we see that the geolocation data is in Luxembourg. And I'm definitely not in Luxembourg. And we can see the organization is by VM. ISP is Frantech Solutions. And I can definitely tell you that I don't use any of them. So we have successfully hit ourselves using proxy chains with Tor as a service on Kali Linux. And if you want, you don't actually have to use this with Firefox. So let's go ahead and exit Firefox. Close tabs. And you can use this to hide yourself with a number of things. One thing that really comes to mind that people would want to use to hide themselves using proxy chains with is Nmap to find open ports on a particular server. And you can do that by typing proxy chains Nmap www.google.com. And that's just something that I'm putting in there. I'm not actually going to run Nmap. And it would be pretty much useless to run it on Google anyway. So there you go. That's how you can use Tor and proxy chains to hide yourself and anonymize yourself on the internet. I hope this helps you guys out. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll go ahead and answer them. Uh, if you want to know how this works or particular ways about how this works, just ask me in the comments and I can answer your question. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.